Insect life is much more prolific and varied in Lapland than in Greenland. The fish have many different species to choose between. Even if the rivers hold good populations of trout and grayling, it's still important to find the right places to fish. An amazing fish, around one and a half kilos. Morton intends to fish in imitation of a free roaming caddis larva, and he shows us where to find the naturals and how numerous they are in these rivers. They're often found where there are small cavities between the rocks and a good current. Once in a while, they're dislodged from their hiding places and drift freely downstream, becoming easy prey for a trout. Caddis larvae are found in hundreds of variants that can all be placed in two main groups. The cased caddis, which we have seen, and the free roaming shown here. Both the cased caddis and the free roaming caddis develop into the winged insect we know as a caddis or sedge. Morton is fishing a size 16 caddis larva. The nymph is fished dead drift, preferably close to the bottom. Morton now attaches a little indicator paste to the leader. The fish seem to be holding in shallow water along the opposite bank, and the indicator paste gives Morton perfect control of the fishing depth to avoid constantly snagging the bottom. And of course, it's easier to detect even the most delicate take from a fish. <laughs> 